Yeah, for about five two winners, five fantastic goals in the game. Um, what did you make of the, the ninety minutes as a whole? Um, I think the goal early killed us a bit. Uh, killed us. I know it sounds stupid, but it killed the momentum really. And we, as soon as we scored, we went into like a comfort zone sort of thing. Um, we did it last week against Notts County. Um, I was so disappointed uh, in the first half performance. Um, I told the boys that just that at half time. Um, even when going on scored, I just walked in. I was I was that fuming. Um, I didn't like what I was watching. I didn't like the team I seen on the pitch first half. Um, but second half, credit to them, the response. Um, they showed what they can do. They showed what they're capable of. You know, um, the, some of the some of the performances were were second to none without singling anybody out. But um, you know, we possibly could have been on and won 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 a lot more. To be honest. Yeah, you mentioned the, the first half display. Was the midfield area and the central midfield area the real worry in terms of how they were getting behind it? <clears throat> it was just the fact that, you know, we have offensive players in there. Um, Guion, Leo, even Chris Forrester. Um, they almost played too much in a straight line for me. Um, they weren't getting out to the ball. They weren't stopping shots. They, um, they weren't playing forward enough. They weren't running forward enough. But second half, they completely changed that. Um, you know what we said to the half time and, and, and try to change a little bit. We try to get Shaq dropping off the sides of their two midfield players to to break on them in the transition. I think that worked it worked perfectly for a second half and um you know it was it, they found it hard to hard to stop. You know, even when George come on it you know, you get somebody like George Moncar on and he's running at you as well. So it's um it's difficult for teams to stop when we play like that. Yeah, without dwindling too much on the first half, the two goals that they did score was probably the only real chances they had. And obviously, big deflections as well. So I suppose, you know, although they had a lot of territorial play in terms of the possession, they didn't really hurt us too much. So I suppose there's positives to take in terms of um, how they kept them at bay from from a distance. I know. I think you're being a wee bit kind there, Phil, to us. But um, I think you know, I think they were far better than us first half. They, we we couldn't get close to them. Um, they're fighting for their lives at the bottom of the league. I knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, if you give teams that momentum, you know you concede, and then they score again. You know they'll be on top of you. It doesn't matter who you play against. Um, we got out of jail with a great strike from Guion, and second half we, for me, we turned the style on. We we moved the ball a lot quicker. We created more chances. We with people playing in the half turn, uh, sorry, the half turn. Paul Taylor, Shaq, Tom got another two goals, which is great. So everyone's delighted in the change. Yeah, the third goal was obviously key getting in front, and, and great that Paul Taylor can uh, have, have his name on the score sheet. No, it was one thing I've challenged Tails to be fair this week, and um, he, he'll never be judged. Uh, it, it, listen, his ability is second to none. He's, he's a maverick. He may lose the ball here and then, but he can just create moments out of anything. A bit like Marcus. Um, you know, them sort of players are hard to come by. Um, Tails has got that. One thing I challenged him, I said, you need more goals in your game. Um, he possibly could have had more today than the one he got, but what a great finish. So I was pleased for him. Five goals. No Marcus Madison today, which shows that you can certainly do it without him. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's it's a team game. It's not it's not an individual game. It's a team game. Um, everybody I've got in the change room work hard for this football club, and that includes Marcus. You know, in terms of his distances that he covers for us this year, it's gone up uh, two thousand you know kilometers a game. Um, so Marcus puts shifts in for the team. It, it probably goes all notice sometimes, but listen, it's a team game. It doesn't matter who's in the team. I feel as if I've got good individuals in the dressing room who can step in when anyone's missing. As you've seen, you know we are missing Jack Baldwin, Jermaine Anderson, Marcus Madison, three big parts of our team. But we we can produce performances like that because we've got a good squad. And just finally, Marcus, just a niggle, nothing too serious. No, he'd be, he'd, he'd be, he's been training with a physio in the gym. Um, He's, he's opened up his ankle a little bit. He's had a problem with it, an injury he had a couple of years ago. Um, and to be honest with you, he's been carrying it probably for the last eight or nine games. Um, and uh, he, he always says he's fit for the game. Um, he's we've been managing during the week in training. Um, maybe his fitness has dropped or he's missed a few sessions. Well, his fitness definitely dropped where he missed a few sessions um, um, during the week. So we've taken, we've taken the load off his ankle this week and worked him in the gym. Um, getting his fitness levels up on the bike and the swim pool and things like that. Um, it's so important for him. But um, yeah, and, and also managing his ankle. So we're hoping that Marcus will be back training Wednesday, Thursday.